G'day everyone. How's it all going? So today Mini Drop Bear and I are going to be checking out a meal cold weather menu number five and that is chicken with rice. And this one was done from the Warnick company. So being a Warnick product they don't actually put any date codes on the packaging outside but because it is a freeze dried meal inside it should all be fine. And I must say it's a massive thank you to our mates over at MRE Mountain for sending this one to us. Thanks heaps guys. If anyone's after any MREs, please go and check out their website. I'll leave a link to their website in the description box below for you. Make sure you go and check it out. They've got heaps of different MREs available. So let's check out what's inside this thing. So we've got cheddar cheese pretzels, a cinnamon bun, Accessory packet, a first strike ration bar, chocolate and hazelnut cocoa beverage base, and chicken with rice, and a spoon. Cool, thanks Eastman. So let's see if we've got any date codes on here. Uh, so we've got one right here, which might be pretty hard to see, but it's 6266, so the 266th day of 2016. Let's get some of the other stuff. Cinnamon bun, 327th day of 2016. Nothing on the beverage powder. And the first dry crushing is cram raspberry flavour. So let's check out what's inside this accessory pack as well. Got some gum, coffee instant type three, non-dairy creamer, and a big strong smell coming from that gum actually. Ooh, hot sauce, always a winner. Moist towelette. Book of matches. Some loo roll or toilet paper, and sugar as well. So what we'll do first is we're going to actually do up this main. It asks for 16 ounces or two cups of hot water. And we need to let this one sit for about 10 minutes. First thing we're going to do is actually cut the top of it off right here. Open him up. Let's have a bit of a look inside here. Not really much of a smell at all. You want to have a smell, mate? Yeah, not much. So I've got 16 ounces of hot water here. Pour all that in there. And give them a really good stir. Make sure you get down in those corners and stuff right at the bottom there. Big fan of this freeze-dried stuff and I must say that Mountain House do a great job with their meals absolutely fantastic I haven't had a bad one yet hopefully I haven't just uh, cursed myself by saying that so there you go put that over to the side and we'll get these drinks made up so with the chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage it just asks for six ounces of water. Got that right here. I do prefer actually measuring it out than just pouring it up to the line that it has here because last time I did that, it um, didn't quite work uh, too well. And I found every other time when I've actually measured the water, it's come out a lot nicer. So let's give that a shake. Fantastic. And we'll leave that off to the side too. And finally, we'll get this coffee going. Instant type 3. Not too bad. Sugar. And of course, a little bit of creamer as well. And can you please give that a stir, mate? Yeah. Thank you.
Awesome, thank you. That looks great. So let's get the rest of this stuff out onto the tray. So we'll start getting this stuff out onto the tray. Mini DB is going to do up this first strike crashing bar. And I'll chuck out these cheddar cheese pretzels. Good work, buddy. Now these look really interesting. I haven't actually had anything like these before. Uh, this looks like a hollow pretzel with a bit of a squirt of some cheese or flavouring inside it. It's not coming out. Okay, finally. Well done. And this is what the first strike bar looks like. It's got a really strong raspberry smell to it. Okay, cool. And we'll put the cinnamon bun on too. And that looks absolutely perfect. Let's try and make it a bit clearer for you. Wow, looks fantastic. Let's give that a smell. Oh, yum. Uh, big, big, strong smell of cinnamon. Absolutely beautiful. Get rid of some of this rubbish. And of course, we've got the hot sauce and the gum too, which we'll have later on. So while we're here, bring this coffee along and we may as well pour out this chocolate hazelnut cocoa drink. See how that went in there. And nice chocolatey milkshake colour there. So this main's all ready to go. Let's get it onto the tray. As always, a massive, massive amount of food here. Still piping hot too, which is great. Wow, heaps of rice there. Yeah, this is a bit, eh, mate? So just looking at it here, you can see heaps of rice, obviously. Some nice bits of chicken and stuff in here. But we've also got a bit of red and orange, so I don't know whether it's red capsicum and or carrot. So, what do you reckon? Let's give it a crack, mate. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Very, very, very light on seasoning and herbs and spices and stuff like that in there. Um, quite a uh, bland meal. But it is very salty because these things do contain heaps of sodium. The rice is absolutely really well uh, cooked. Um, so is the chicken as well. Like they're not um, hard, not chewy or anything like that. Really great texture in here. It's almost like there is a slight eggy sort of taste in the background to this, I think. Um, I might actually try some of this hot sauce on here and uh, hopefully that will actually help it out a bit so let's give it a go let's put it on this side because i don't think mini db will be too interested in having hot sauce no no cool so i'll give that one a go Oh, that one packs a punch. That stuff is great, that hot sauce. Um, you know what? It really does need something extra on here. Whether it also needs a pouch of pepper or something like that to help, that might work well as well too. But this hot sauce really does help a lot. What do you think of it, mate? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah? Yeah, tender pieces of chicken. Yeah, and nice rice. Oh. Now, do you want to try some of this chocolate drink? Yeah. I'll let you have that one, and I'm going to try the coffee. Very, very light flavour on that coffee, although it could just be that I've got a mouthful of hot sauce as well, which probably doesn't help. What did you think of the uh, chocolate drink? It did taste like hazelnut. Cool. Yeah, just tried a little bit too. A really nice mix there of the chocolate with the hazelnut syrup that they use to sort of mix it all together and get the flavours in. Absolutely fantastic. Want to try a pretzel, mate? Yeah. Help yourself. Yeah, it's a normal pretzel with like 
um, cheddar cheese flavouring on it. I reckon these things are absolutely fantastic. Great little flavour, and uh, I love that texture hit that you get in the middle with that cheese that they've put in there too. And let's try some of this cinnamon bun, buddy. So, get a little cross section here for everyone to have a look at. And it almost looks like there's um, a, yeah, like a cinnamon jam or something in the middle of all that. There you go. Yeah, that cinnamon bun is absolutely fantastic. Really, really great texture. Still really fresh as well. A little bit of a chew to it, which is great for the texture. I don't mind that. And really nice, strong taste of cinnamon as well. Fantastic. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, there was like a cinnamon jam in the middle. Cool. Ready to try this raspberry cranberry first strike bar? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sticky, this thing. There you go. Yeah, there's a strong raspberry smell and raspberry taste to it. Yeah, really chewy, these things, and quite sticky when you're holding on to it. But you know what? It's really cool with the texture because you do get a lot of like little bits of uh, cereal balls, a bit like um, rice bubbles and stuff like that inside of it. So that's great with the texture of the chewiness as well as that crunch. And yeah, the flavour... The raspberry really comes out into it. So, what's left, mate? The gum. Yeah, I knew you'd spot that one. Cool. So let's try that. There you go. Okay. Gum is really nice. A nice peppermint flavour to it. What did you think of it, buddy? Yeah, it's a normal peppermint gum. Yeah. Cool. So once again, a massive thank you to MRE Mountain for getting this one to us. Really enjoyed it as always. The main was absolutely fantastic. Really nice, mild flavoured to it, so anyone could enjoy it. But that hot sauce really, really was needed for someone like me who likes to have a little bit extra flavour into it. These pretzels with the cheese filling, absolutely awesome. I love those. Cinnamon bun, beautiful. Love cinnamon, always a winner for me. The first try crash and bar, fantastic. Nice texture hit and flavours as well. It wasn't overly sweet or anything like that. Coffee, normal type 3 coffee that you have. Pretty mild in flavour. And this hazelnut chocolate drink. Uh, really nice for a change. Haven't had that before. So it was great to give it a crack. So ready for thumbs up, thumbs down? Yep. Cool. So the main, the pretzels, the cinnamon bun, the first strike bar. Ooh, middle. Okay, and what about this chocolate hazelnut drink? Thumbs up. Oh, well, five out of six is pretty good. So that's the end of the review, everyone. Really hope you enjoyed it. We had fun doing it, didn't we? Yeah. So don't forget, you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. Feel free to jump on there, follow me. I do put some uh, little pictures up there of what's coming up and what to expect. And if you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let us know what you thought. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks heaps for watching, everyone. See ya. Yeah.